Do you want to move like an elite vampire? How about wall jumping from building to building? Or maybe you just want to look cool. Movement in Blood Hunt is an essential skill that is just as important as accuracy in gunplay. Using movement will help you evade danger, approach fights at an advantage, and traverse through the map a lot faster. You will be able to survive a lot more fights if you can understand how movement works in Blood Hunt. Your opponents are going to be scratching their heads, wondering where the heck you went. Or if they're none the wiser, you'll be the assassin from the shadows that they never saw coming. My name is Swords, and this movement guide will go over essential movement techniques in Blood Hunt for players looking to improve and spice up their movement. Whether you're a solo or trios player, you should be able to take away something from this video that will help you in navigating around Prague a lot smoother. Fortunately, movement in Blood Hunt isn't too complicated, so things should be easy to follow. Watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss a thing. Like and subscribe for more Blood Hunt content so I can give the people what they want. Follow me on Twitch so you can catch me live gaming and vibing out with the community. And be sure to check out my Discord to chat directly with our chill community about Blood Hunt, other games, or memes. The first thing you need to understand about movement in Blood Hunt is a mechanic called momentum. Momentum in Blood Hunt is essentially the passive force of speed of your vampire in the direction you're moving in. And without enough momentum, you'll be unable to utilize a lot of the movement mechanics through Blood Hunt or potentially move in the wrong direction. You build up momentum simply by building up your speed in a certain direction by running, sliding, or wall jumping. But at the same time, other elements can cancel out your momentum, such as player abilities like Blinding Beauty or Shockwave. Landing on the ground hard will also cancel out your momentum entirely. Understanding this mechanic will be essential to every movement technique in Blood Hunt. To start off with the most basic core movement technique, that's going to be slide jumping. They go over this in the tutorial, but you really should be doing this almost all the time while you travel on flat surfaces, at street level, or on rooftops. Simply run forward, slide, then jump. That's all there is to it. I see far too many players running around without sliding and jumping, making them a really easy target. You're a lot harder of a target to hit and you can get the angle on other players much faster using this simple movement technique. You can chain slide jumps together as well, and it's more effective by running very briefly after your jump so you can build back up that momentum and maintain it to keep it going. To gain even more momentum, slide jumping down slopes will give you a lot more speed than normally as well. You can nearly cross entire gaps between buildings by doing this when timed correctly. Comboing slide jump with Vanish as a Nosferatu player on a slope will give you an even bigger spoot beast that can help you travel far, so take advantage of this if you're a Nosferatu player. Naturally, the next thing to talk about is wall jumping. Wall jumping is simple. After building up enough momentum, simply jump from a wall upon contact or when sliding against it while facing the direction you want to jump in. At street level, I like to throw in a wall jump after a slide jump to maximize my speed on the floor and to make my position a bit unpredictable for any un unexpected enemies. You can also get more distance out of a wall jump if you move away from the wall at the same time of your jump. This is most noticeable when jumping from wall to wall if they're adjacent from each other. For walls paired up like this, you can travel up the a lot faster than simply climbing them if you just jump side to side like this. And the best part is that it's a lot quieter than the loud noise made when normally climbing directly at buildings. You can also use the same strategy against corners of two walls together, however you need to make sure you throw a climb in between each wall jump or you'll end up jumping away from the wall. You see, climbing directly up a building, even for a second, resets your momentum, allowing you to wall jump to these kinds of walls consecutively and a lot faster. You'll see a lot of walls and corners like this, so take advantage of this skill whenever you can. The more you get used to it, the faster you'll be at it. Wall jumping is also a pretty solid and fun movement mechanic when chaining wall jumps together along tight alleys, streets, and backways, making you a much harder target to hit. As you get better with this, you'll even be able to replicate the same method on rooftops wherever you see an object you can wall jump off of. This method isn't limited to just walls of buildings, it can be done against any surface that's climbable. And if you use the Nosferatu's Vanish ability, you can even do it faster as well. So keep that in mind if you're a Nosferatu player. To go on, wall sliding is also a movement mechanic worth mentioning. Simply press against the wall facing your chosen direction and you can slide along against it in whatever way. You can slide downward or any particular direction to the left or right. 
You're also a lot quieter than climbing a building when doing this and you can heal or put on armor while doing it. Sometimes wall sliding can be just what you need to get out of a bad situation. Most people from the higher ground may not have a clear line of sight of you when you jump off a building, assuming you simply jump down the street level when in fact you're just sliding down the wall. To go on, you can also break your fall a lot of the time by sliding upon reaching the ground, even if you're jumping from a massive height. The catch is you need to make sure you have momentum before falling by sliding or slide jumping. I've tested this against insane heights and it seems like you can always break your fall with a slide if you slide jump before falling off a building. To add on, healing on the move is an even better way to take advantage of blood syringes, armor, and blood bags. When sliding down walls of buildings, falling, or sliding to break your fall, you can continue to get off your healing meds while maintaining your momentum. This skill will keep you alive and fighting a lot longer during the most chaotic fights since a standing target holding still is an easy target. So stay on the move and pop those heals. You'd be surprised how much longer you can sustain yourself in a fight this way. It's a really good mechanic for sustaining you and keeping your teammates alive in a fight since you can pop heals on the move and be a hard and difficult target to hit while trying to evade fire from enemies. Finally, Scourge Blades are an incredible weapon to help your movement as the alternate attack in the current state of the game will attack in any direction your cursor is facing, meaning it's omnidirectional, so you can move in any direction horizontally or vertically when attacking with this alternate fire. So if you're jumping across the building and you're just barely making the gap, using the alternate attack forward or upward may just help you clear that gap without making noise while you're climbing. There's plenty of finesse capable with these weapons, so feel free to experiment and use your creativity to use them for movement. Try to always pick up some Melancholic Resonance as well because this Resonance blood buff reduces the cooldown of your clan ability. Your clan ability is also your movement ability, so by reducing the cooldown of that you'll effectively be able to move around a lot faster generally and can throw out your ability a lot more. As time goes on, there'll likely be new movement techniques players discover, so keep an eye out and continue to try new things. Combo together the different movement elements discussed in this video and you'll have no problem navigating prog and outplaying your opponents. Let me know how successful you are incorporating movement into your gunfights in the comments below. Feel free to check out one of my other Blood Hunt videos. Without further ado, take it easy and peace out.